joining us, D.C. Council Member Muriel Bowser right now. Thank you for joining us, uh, Ms. Bowser. Hi, Brian and Larry. How are you? Good morning. Uh, we're okay, but we've been disturbed from the moment we heard about this story. And I've got to say at this point, I mean, the, there have, with the Fire Chief Ellerby, there have been staffing problems for the years that he's been here uh, that uh, continue to bubble up and problems within the uh, the department, fleet issues with trucks broken down and, and not able, ambulances and fire uh, trucks and, and uh, paramedic trucks not able to respond because there hasn't been appropriate maintenance. And now we have uh, this story. Uh, last summer, your uh, fellow council person, Mary Che, submitted a letter to uh, Tommy Wells and said that the public had uh, absolutely lost confidence in uh, Chief Ellerby. Uh, do you agree? Do you think that Chief Ellerby has got to go at this point? I think that it starts at the top. Um, and I think where people have lost confidence and trust is in Chief Ellerby's boss. Uh, we know these department heads, fire chief, schools chief, you name it, are as good as the mayor that's backing them up. And what I see um, is a complete loss of, of faith in, in leadership. At okay, the well, the, the mayor has supported him through all of this. And, of course, we know that you would like to replace the mayor. You're running for mayor. So let's, let me ask you the question this way. If you were mayor right now, how would you handle the fire chief? I don't think that I could have a fire chief in place where we have staff that literally have somebody dying across the street from them. Um, And so I think that we're all right um, to question if we have the right leadership there. I will acknowledge that they started a swift investigation and the personnel are going to be um, held accountable. But in how can you have in a department firefighters whose first responsibility is to save people's lives literally sitting across the street while somebody is dying. All right, so you're not the mayor yet, and you are a member of the council. What can you as a member of the council do to solve this problem? Because this is not the first time we've heard of problems at the fire department. This is not the first time that ambulances have been summoned and they did not come. I mean, don't the people who live and work in the District of Columbia have the right to, to know that when they dial 911, help is going to come their way? Yes, they're at a, I think they're definitely at a crisis point. Um, the first job of government is to keep is to keep our neighborhoods, our people, our businesses, our visitors. Well, what can you do? You're a member of the council. What can you do to solve this? We ha- we have to make sure that the personnel responsible are held accountable. And I do think that that the time is right for this chief to be able to say that he's got to fix in place or he's got to go. Um, but I, you got to wonder. You have a, a lame duck mayor. Who's going to be the next fire chief in such a situation? That's why. And, I, and, you know, I don't appear I don't want to appear to be self-serving, but that gives, that just lets you know where we are in our government, that we have to be able to attract the best and the best people. And at this juncture, um, it's difficult. All right. Uh, Muriel, uh, Muriel Bowser is our guest. She's, of course, a council member uh, for the District of Columbia and a candidate for mayor. The election is coming up April 1st, by the way. We want to remind everyone the April Fool's Day election is on its way. And uh, you just said we need to hold the responsible parties responsible for this. One of those people is Lieutenant Colleen Davis. She is at the center of this. They have interviewed her. She has now submitted her resignation. She's a 28-year veteran, and she'd like to have her full pension. Uh, What should the city do about this? I don't know the details about um, what she's going to be entitled to, um, but in in that we really have to let the internal investigation take its course. Should they hold on her resignation, though, until this investigation is complete? I think that the the department needs to retain every recourse that it can so that it can know what happened um, and get all of the information from those involved. And so the report has, no matter what happens with with this particular firefighter, um, we need to make sure that the processes are in place and everybody involved is in a position where they can talk freely and openly so it can never happen again. Well, it, it shouldn't take that long to get to the bottom of what happened. I wouldn't guess that it should. Yeah. I think that in several days uh, we should know exactly what happened. Well, if you find out that she dropped the ball somehow, if, if that's what the evidence suggests, then what should happen? Well, she should be fired. Now, if she's already resigned, um, then that's that's not appropriate uh, a recourse at that point. Um, but a, a resignation action would suggest to me that, uh, you know, the employee kind of knows what's coming down. Uh, Muriel Bowser, we're running up to April Fool's Day here, two months away, frankly. And uh, the last poll shows that Mayor Gray still has a healthy lead. Uh, what are you going to do to make a difference in this campaign? Well, you know, our polls, you know, show some things differently. The Washington Post looked at 
people that might vote. Uh, we've seen numbers where people who are actually voters and have a history of voting are going to show up. And, and what it shows is that our campaign is the one that can make sure we can get a fresh start in the mayor's office. So we're asking everybody to look long and hard at this. If you want directors that are going to respond to emergencies, if you want to make sure the trash is going to be picked up on time, and if you want a mayor that's focused uh, on our future, not distracted by other things, um, I have to ask you to be with us on April 1st. All right. Now, the, the mayor's already raised $627,000 for his reelection effort. How do, you, how do you combat that? Oh, we've raised $1.1 wow. and we have $800,000 in the bank. So there's no campaign that's better resourced um, to get to April 1st than ours. All right, Ward 4, look at that. Uh, one, look one, at that. One other question, Muriel Bowser, I mean, specific to where I've been mean, listening, Connecticut Avenue goes right down the middle of your where There's a lot of major thoroughfares in this city that are just, during rush hour, impossible to traverse. I mean, the, the, the traffic in this city has gotten so much worse. And yep. the only thing we seem to see from the city is more bike lanes, meaning less parking spots and no real solution to the to the traffic what would you do as mayor to help fix the traffic problem well we got to have a balance uh, we got to have a balance so so one thing we know is that this region is growing there'll be 600 6 million new people in the whole region 200,000 in DC by 2040 um, everybody won't be able to drive so we have to make the necessary investments in our public transit system that get people back and forth to work that get people um, to the daily events of their lives um, and that's the balance so great bus service great metro service street cars and yes bike lanes a lot of people are biking um, and walking to work and we want them to be safe too now the parking conundrum in the district is one that needs new attention we have gotten um, into a parking situation where we have certain rules in ward six certain rules in ward one um, and people in dc they go to all wards um, so we have to make more sense of our parking policy right. last sure. question uh, the, the speed cameras the red light cameras the stop sign cameras you firm you again them <laughs> I'm for I'm for safety on our roads. Um, in some cases, I think we we may have gone uh, overboard. You know, the p police chief has recommended uh, some of these new cameras. Uh, I will always support red light cameras. I will always support speed cameras in the, in the cases where they're making our roads safer. What D.C. residents and visitors don't want are got me or get you cameras. Yeah, traps. That they're kind of set up as a trap, trap. Yeah. and they're not really improving road safety. We need to get rid of those All right. because D we really don't want to we don't want to trap our citizens, but we do want people to follow the rules. D.C. Right. Council Member Muriel Bowser and well-funded candidate for the uh, April Fool's Day election coming up for mayor. Thank you for joining us. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.